And I'm back again for another vlog. So recently, I was sent an invitation to my 10 year high school reunion. And yeah, yeah, it, it has been 10 years this year that I graduated high school. So, time flies, I guess. And I got it through Facebook because young people don't send anything through the mail anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, it's it's this summer, I believe. I'm uh, still not exactly sure if I'm gonna go. I haven't seen practically almost everyone I went to high school in 10 years. Yeah, yeah, I've only seen like five people maybe that I went to high school what was uh, since I left high school. I'm like thinking about like what I've done since high school and and uh, like I know I've done stuff but uh, it, it's like I'm not sure if it adds up to anything or like I don't really have anything to show uh, for what I've done. And another thing is practically everyone watches movies and or television, but not a lot of people are familiar with how uh, that they get made and the behind the scenes work. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'd be the best one to explain this to people. Because uh, it's like, I I've worked as a production assistant many times and yeah, that may sound interesting, but it's like the low person on the totem pole. Uh, the, there's usually quite a few production assistants, uh, especially on bigger shoots, like for a uh, Top Chef. Uh, there were, I don't know, dozens. I know for sure dozens and dozens. I believe I'm the only one who went to college for filmmaking. There has to be uh, some people who went to college for uh, arts. I don't think anyone else went uh, to college to learn how to make movies. With, with my friend, he knows a lot about uh, making movies and and uh, I, I could talk to him about all my production assistant jobs, but you know, we didn't go to the same high school. So he, he's not going to my high school reunion. And Top Chef is definitely the biggest thing that I've done. And I'm sure people uh, who went to my high school have heard of Top Chef and maybe even watch it. But then what else can I talk about? Because <laughs> looking at the other stuff that I've done, I've had probably at least 20 jobs since leaving uh, high school, like including uh, like one or two day jobs where I uh, worked as a production assistant. And I haven't had a job last more than one year and I'm s still <laughs> living with my parents. Uh, I, I guess 
since high school, I've lived on and off with them. But like I, I moved out for college for four years. And then after college, I went down to LA for uh, just under a year, lived, lived down there. And then uh, went to Colorado, of course. Uh, for three months, I think. No, no, two months. Yeah, two months. Just, just over two months. Lived down there and also uh, done a bunch of house sitting uh, jobs. And, and yeah, stay in other people's houses. And isn't that the whole point of the high school reunion? To talk to people about what you've been doing in the years between high school and the reunion. Uh, yeah, I'm just having a hard time like talking uh, about my life during those years. It's actually funny because I, I just watched this movie called Brad's Status. Uh, it stars uh, Ben Stiller uh, and he's this uh, father who's uh, getting ready to send his son off to college and he's also looking at his life and and also looking at the lives of his old friends uh, on Facebook and he, he's uh, comparing his life to their life and imagining their lives as being uh, grand and spectacular and he's he's uh, not really sure if he made the right decisions in, in life but throughout the movie he keeps coming in contact with uh, his old buddies from college I think and he slowly finds out that their lives aren't exactly how they're uh, uh, portrayed on Facebook. You're actually not really sure uh, what is true about their lives and what is not, which, yeah, I actually, I, I like, I like the movie, it, it's really good, but yeah, I really did feel connected to Ben Stiller's character, even though he's like a middle-aged adult and I'm in my late 20s and I don't have kids or am married, but, but it, yeah, I still really feel that way, especially lately. and. And I know I shouldn't compare my life to uh, what I see of other people's lives on Facebook because that's usually just the best parts of other people's lives or at least the parts that they want to share. So you're not seeing all of their lives but you are seeing all of your life. And yeah, I know I, I shouldn't do that, but, but yeah, I can't help it. And of, of course my life could be a lot worse and I'm, I am grateful for uh, everything that I have in my life. Uh, but, but yeah, it's just, uh, I can't help but feeling like, like it could be better. <laughs> uh, I, I, could, I could have done more or maybe done something else 
that was better. Like at, at this point in my life, I wasn't expecting uh, to be rich and famous and a celebrity. Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking I would be be that, but uh, I was thinking that my life would be a little bit different than what it is now. Like not living with my parents uh, for so long. I know I'm definitely not the only person who feels this way. I mean, they, they made a movie about a person who feels this way. Uh, so yeah, but it's just like, if I did go to my high school reunion, uh, what exactly would I talk to other people about? Uh, what's going on in my life? I mean, of, of course, there's the whole autism thing. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't diagnosed in high school. It, it was after college uh, that I officially got diagnosed. Yeah, there, there, <laughs> there's another thing, but do I want to go to a reunion and talk about my mental health. So I, I still have time to decide about whether or not I'm gonna go or not, but I could also not even be here. Because with the way things are going in my life, I could get a job soon that would require me to move out of the city or out of state and then I wouldn't be here when it happens. Yeah, it's just like, I want something, I don't know, something so solid, I guess, that, or something dependent in my life that I can grasp and talk about with other people. Yeah, so anyway, this video has kind of been rambly. Yeah, so, uh, I'm just gonna end it right now. <laughs> but yeah, so until next video, goodbye.